my grandfather, my father, now me, got into wrestling. I got into wrestling in the early 80s. And now my kids, I have kids, and my son likes watching it with me. And My dad always told me the story of my grandfather, when my grandfather would go to a local arena, and um, he tells this story about my grandfather and my grandfather's friend. They burned Freddie Blassie's car. And according to my dad, I guess there's a Freddie Blassie documentary where he talks about that specifically happening in Southern California. And to this day, if you ask my grandpa that, who's like in his mid-90s, he'll um, he'll laugh. And then he'll say, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, like he murdered somebody, you know? Anyways. Well, I mean, that's the fun part of this podcast is we can't story check anything. I mean, who knows, right? Even this caller was like, I don't know if this is true, but it's a story being told. It's a fable. It's a tale. It's being passed down from generation to to generation, and now this lucky wrestling fan, who is also has his his kids, who are also wrestling fans now, I think he said in the call, he's going to tell that tale too. That's a fourth generation tale to that kid that their great grandfather burned down the car of Freddie Bless. We always hear in these documentaries. That's the best part. We always hear in the documentaries these people who had their cars burned, these people who got stabbed, these people who got shot. Bobby Heenan, you know, Roddy Piper talks about being stabbed, but we never hear from the people that do the shooting or do the stabbing. We never even think about those people. Like, I assume all in our heads, they did the thing, they ran away, they are a thug. That's the story. We're never going to hear more about it. But finally, we hear from the other side of these wrestling tales, these old school wrestling tales. We hear from the other side, the guy whose grandpa did the burning. Pretty wild. I'm always curious who those people are, and now I'm glad. Well, I don't know necessarily. This is an anonymous call-in show, but I know that somebody who listens to the show has access to really get that story out of that grandfather. And he's 90, but I feel you should really do some digging. Like This is a sit-down conversation. I mean, maybe a Patreon special for me. Maybe I should fly over to your place in California, and we should do a real sit-down Patreon interview and get to the bottom of what it takes, why you would. Did he hate Freddie Blassie that much? Did your grandfather love John Tolis that much? Or whoever the baby faces were at that time? I don't know, ask Dave Meltzer, he'd know. To really burn somebody's fucking car. It's gotta be alcohol, right? I guess going back to stabbing somebody. If you stab a wrestler, unless you have so much pride for that baby face at that time. I mean, I guess I would stab for my mother, but would I stab for Tito Santana? Eh, somebody would. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly. Wherever you listen to your podcast, go subscribe. While you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.